Yeah. Simon, a comfortable victory for the team today. How do you uh, assess that performance? Uh, Patcher, to say the least. Um, but we're trying to change our play a little bit. It's not, you know, we're not reinventing the wheel, but there are some changes there. We get on top of that. But still, attitudinally, we're still not where we need to be. Um, there's just too many lapses for my liking. Um, attack I'll take at the minute because we are changing, as I say, but defensively, nothing's changed there. Um, I've just questioned them then, their effort at times. Uh, it's not good enough. It's not, not good enough if we want to get to where I think the potential of this team should be. Mm. Um, and to be quite honest, it won't be good enough next week against Dewsborough. Um, they'll be a, a much sterner test. Um, much better organised opposition. Uh, I felt for Barrow a bit, they're busted, playing lads that really probably shouldn't be playing. Um, positive for them, I think they did, they did stick in there, they didn't, they didn't just fold for us. I think they, should, they sort of wavered like they were going to throw the towel and then you know they showed a bit, of, a bit of backbone, so I think that's something for Paul to take away. But yeah, it, it wasn't as big a test as we probably needed leading into a tough one next week, but it is what it is, it gives an opportunity to play some some of the younger lads who haven't played a lot of minutes lately mm. um, and obviously the rest of some of the older boys who who have Kevin, Kevin Bob who've done a lot of minutes over this last you know, these last three weeks so. mm. and those lads who did come off the bench just, just on into them down there after the game really did lift us and they didn't just add and come on and sort of hold the fort while they were on the pitch they come and they come and played so it was good yeah was it about putting in an 80 minute performance and obviously it was quite a big first half lead and just was it about keeping that going in the second half do you feel or? yeah we had the, the zero at half time I was pushing for that to be the big game not I won't really 28 points you shouldn't lose the game should you mm. um, so it's more about a defensive focus and attitude towards the stuff that you do for your mate they're getting back quick that, you know the extra little efforts that, that 9 out of 10 speckies don't see um, but as a staff and other players we do see it and that's what I'll judge them on after this performance. Mm. It seems like you're striving for perfection and obviously if we've, we've won quite convincingly today and you're know, seeing sort of not the negatives in that but the, the well, areas for improvement. Well, if that was if that were Toronto on the end of that I'd say it probably would have had to have been somewhere near perfection but we have to be realistic here yeah, Barrow not in a good shape. Um, but again back to the potential of this team and where I think we should be at we're not, we're not there we're, we're way off it at you mentioned about um, changing the attack. Is there anything in particular you can tell us about about that? Um, I think the way we're playing now is probably a little bit less predictable. And there's a bit more scheming going on. It's not as easy to read as it has been. That's that's sort of the, the aim of it. And making our pivots, our playmakers, touch the ball a lot more than they have. Um, it's obviously we missed Q today. We pulled up yesterday, uh, Friday evening with his, with his calf. Um, he was good at Sheffield. Uh, they're expecting him back this week. But yeah, the, the sort of gist of it is one of them, them ball players being ball players, touching the ball more. Um, mm. it's, it's showing it's, it's showing it's going to work, but it's still going to take a bit of time. Yeah, um, Chester Butler, another try for him today. Obviously after his spell out injured. Yeah, um, look, you can blow as much smoke as you want for Chester, but he's he's still got quite a bit to do. He's not he's been out a long time. He's a bit rusty. Um, little stuff, timing of his runs. Tining in D, all the, the attitudinal stuff as well, uh, they're all there and they all need to be worked on but they'll come with him getting a little bit fitter as well, uh, he's still trying to find his way, find his lungs as well. Mm. Now nah, he'll be good, he's been good for us coming back to that, um, a couple more will be fit next week and there'll be some decisions to make, mm. some will be easy, some, some won't. Obviously you're still new to the role, how do you feel that you've, you've settled into the uh, position? It's been alright, it's been it's strange, it's a strange one, um, look I don't have anything to do with decisions that are made above above me um, but it's a bit like a referee's decision like it lump it I, don't, I rarely see them change once they're done they're done aren't they so we've just got to get on and move on now that's all there is to it when can we expect to see Brother on the pitch um, it would have been today had the paperwork been processed in time um, so unfortunately no we didn't get in this week next week it'll be cup tied um, obviously this will won't want to won't, won't want him playing for us just in case they need him down the line there but yeah unless something happens we get a nice phone call from Huddersfield to say no 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 worries playing um, yeah it'll be the week after that which will be a lead is it lead? on a bash, bash sorry, yeah. you mentioned the potential of this team so where do you think this team could be should be well at the minute we're way, way off the top five aren't we um, I think we should be Comfortably in terms of potential, 
and the names on paper and all them bits. Uh, look, we were top. We are a top five team, I think. Yeah. Um, based on what we've done in the past and you know what's what's currently here, but we're not. The behaviours we're displaying at the minute aren't top five behaviours. Um, so that's stuff which we're trying to change. You seem to be getting the pivots on the ball earlier. Is is that a fair assessment? And how are you going about doing that? Yeah, that's that won't happen every week, but it's more for what was in front of us. Barrow, a big aggressive team. Um, it's not always a smart play to knock on the front door. So we uh, we looked at moving him around a little bit, try getting fatigued, and obviously then you get some ruck speed off the back of that. So that was the focus today. And just finally for me, any update on the role from for you? Have you been given the nod that it's yours permanently? No, I have a, a brief conversation. Look, I've got a job. The board members, they've all got jobs. Um, I want the job. Um, but again, it's a conversation to be had, which hopefully will happen next week.